will convert your children. I hope everyone's doing well today. Well, a gay nightclub in Duluth, Minnesota is advertising a children's drag show for this Labor Day. It won't be their first. The video I'm showing is from an event that was earlier this year. The whole thing reminds me of something that Jesus said. Anyone who welcomes a little child like this on my behalf is welcoming me. But if you cause one of these little ones who trusts in me to fall into sin, it would be better for you to have a large millstone tied around your neck and be drowned in the depths of the sea. I think Jesus was pretty plain about how he feels about those who lead children into perversion. So back to the event. The Flame Nightclub in Duluth is hosting a drag show on Monday, September the 5th. Entry for each adult is just $5 and all children get in free, or for the low, low price of their parents' soul, however you want to look at it. A previous show called Mama's Toy Box occurred in May at the same club. The advertising read, Come join local kings and queens for an all-ages drag show. Introduce the next generation to a kid-friendly world of drag. Introduce the next generation to a kid-friendly world of drag. What a horrible thing. Fox 21, a local TV station, promoted the event. A local news presenter called it something special geared towards the youth and invited a drag queen on to share details. Join us for this kid-friendly, sober, and exciting event. Princesses, villains, and many other characters are scheduled to perform. The event description reads, Refreshments and kitty cocktails will be provided at no charge. Talk about sick. No need for luring kids into a panel van at the park with candy these days. The event is taking place as part of a five-day Labor Day weekend extravaganza. While there will be sodomy for kids, there's also going to be perversion for the whole family. The other Pride events will include art exhibitions, drag queen story hour, comedy and drag shows, parties, and a Sunday parade in, in Superior, Wisconsin, right across the bay from Duluth. Sounds like a great weekend of vacation elsewhere. An old quote goes, if we don't teach our children to follow Christ, the world's going to teach them not to. Children are great imitators, so give them something great to imitate. Anything else would be better. These drag shows for children are happening all over the country. They feature performers dancing provocatively with kids, handing them tips. They probably don't know it, but the queer community is actually using a biblical concept. In Deuteronomy, it says, But watch out. Be careful never to forget what you yourself have seen. Do not let these memories escape from your mind as long as you live. It's hard to unsee things. These children are going to be forever changed, stripped of their innocence in need of deliverance from a horrible, scarring event. One drag queen said, They are the next generation of everyone. I want to give the kids an opportunity to see what a drag queen's life is like. I think people need to show their kids what a drag queen's afterlife is like if they don't repent. These type of events are becoming all too familiar. Earlier this year, the Mall of America hosted a family-friendly drag show. Bloomington has also hosted a kid's event that featured an amateur gay porn star who is an open Satan worshiper. This sounds like some kind of a scene from Sodom and Gomorrah to me. I want to be clear. God hates this activity. If it only involved adults, it would bring judgment, but dragging kids into it is going to bring God's wrath. Consider a few verses from Romans 1. Here's a short summary of a very intense chapter. The wrath of God is being revealed from heaven against all the godlessness of people who suppress the truth with their wickedness. As a result of this, God is giving them over to the sinful desires of their hearts to the degrading of their bodies one with another. Men are leaving the natural relations with women and are inflamed with lust one for another. Men are committing shameful acts with other men and are receiving in themselves the due penalty for their error. Although people know God's righteous decree that those who do such things deserve death, so do those who approve of them who practice these things. 
Be careful not to get caught up in the philosophy of our day. It's not okay to condone sin. It's not okay to turn a blind eye. I could overwhelm you with scripture condemning these behaviors, but I'm going to let this one suffice. In Jude, it says, And the angels who did not keep their positions of authority but abandoned their proper dwelling, these he has kept in darkness bound with everlasting chains for judgment on that great day. In a similar way, Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding towns gave themselves up to sexual immorality and perversion. They serve as an example to those who suffer the punishment of eternal fire. If you're in a position to stand against all these types of events, please do so. They are straight from the pits of the hell and they're causing great damage to our community and to our nation. These type of events are so damnable that it's, it's fearful to think about. It's fearful to think about the judgment and the wrath that may come upon our own country because we haven't done anything to stop these miserable events. I do applaud uh, Governor DeSantis down in Florida for trying to stop that mess down there. I really hope other states and other cities are going to step up and do the same thing. Godly people need to do godly things. Because one thing's for sure, the ungodly certainly are doing ungodly things. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I will talk to you in a while.